Giraffes are skilled fighters, can gallop, and were once used as gifts by ancient Egyptian kings to display power. These are some of the lesser known facts about this seemingly familiar animal. And this is a video about cool things you might not know about giraffes. Zarafa was the first giraffe used as a royal gift, given by Muhammad Ali, the Ottoman Viceroy of Egypt, to King Charles X of France in October 1826. During her journey from Marseille to Paris, Zarafa was admired by countless people. Giraffes were subsequently featured in books by famous writers and served as inspiration for artists. Women began to style their hair and wear giraffe-themed outfits. Furniture and decorative items featuring giraffes became the image of the era. In space, astronauts' circulatory systems must work differently to pump blood back up, causing veins to become almost inactive and weaken, which is dangerous upon returning to Earth. Meanwhile, giraffes are animals that can stand up almost immediately after birth, thanks to their rapidly developing leg vein system. Observing this, NASA created a device consisting of a cuff fitted around the astronauts' waists that applies a vacuum, causing the leg veins to expand and blood circulation to proceed normally. Drinking water is a serious challenge for giraffes. To drink, they must spread their front legs wide and awkwardly lower their necks, a position that makes them vulnerable to predators like crocodiles. However, their digestive system can absorb almost all the necessary water from the plants they eat. Giraffes never sweat or pant to cool down. Instead, they allow their body temperature to fluctuate with the ambient temperature to conserve water. Despite their rather clumsy appearance, the speed of this animal is astonishing. Giraffes have two modes of movement, fast and very fast, or what scientists call walking and galloping. A single stride of a walking giraffe can be 4.5 meters, 15 feet long, meaning their walking speed is about 16 kilometers per hour, 10 miles per hour. When galloping, a giraffe can reach speeds of 56 kilometers per hour. With their incredible galloping ability, giraffes can defend themselves and escape from predators. They are so adept at self-defense that even lions only dare to attack when a giraffe is not with its herd. A giraffe's legs are very strong and their sharp, thick hooves are about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long. A kick from a giraffe can kill a lion. Thanks to their attractive appearance and latent power, giraffes are considered symbols in many traditional African belief systems. One of the most peculiar beliefs is the giraffe dance. This dance originated when a woman saw a giraffe running in the rain. The sound of its hooves and its running created a special rhythm that later became known as the giraffe rhythm. For centuries, the Bushmen of the Kalahari region have used this rhythm in their hunting dances. Male giraffes forcefully slam, rub and twist their necks against each other to measure strength. Although this necking behaviour makes them look very cute, these fights are quite strenuous and can last a long time. Sometimes this action is also a way for a male to attract the attention of other females. A giraffe's tongue is approximately 50 centimetres 20 inches long and is dark blue to protect it from sun exposure. Giraffes use their tongues to lick other objects, pick their noses and clean their ears, similar to the function of an elephant's trunk. This snake-like tongue is particularly useful for getting food. They simply use their tongue to wrap around foliage, pull sharply and bring the leaves into their mouth. The upper lip of a giraffe can function like an arm when combined with the tongue. The inside of their mouth, along with the lips and tongue, is covered with hard finger-like papillae to protect them from thorns and injuries. As early as 2500 BC, ancient Egyptian kings captured giraffes and paraded them before the people. 
Considered an impressive and luxurious animal, the giraffe was increasingly used as a gift to demonstrate the power of rulers. Julius Caesar, a famous ruler of ancient Rome, once received a giraffe as a gift and paraded it in Rome. The giraffe was later put into an arena and fed to lions to display Caesar's power. The mating habits of this species are quite complex because females often refuse to mate during their 15-month gestation period. Between pregnancies, a female may mate with a suitable male, but only during a short window that occurs every two weeks. Males can track when a female is ready to mate by performing a behaviour known as flamen. The female will urinate into the male's mouth. The taste of the female's urine is different when she is ready to mate. Other short facts. The giraffe is the world's tallest mammal. Their legs alone are as tall as an average adult human, about 1.8 metres or 6 feet. Giraffes only need to drink water once every few days. A large amount of water is absorbed from the plants they eat. Giraffes spend most of their lives standing up. They even sleep and give birth in this position. A baby giraffe can stand up and walk within a few hours of birth. After a few weeks, they start to browse for their first leaves. Despite being carefully protected by their mothers, many young giraffes are attacked and eaten by lions, leopards and African wild dogs in their first few months of life. A giraffe's spots are like human fingerprints. No two individuals have the exact same pattern. Both male and female giraffes have two hair-covered horns called ossicones. Males sometimes use their horns to fight with other males. Giraffes only sleep for about 5 to 30 minutes a day. They usually take short naps of about 2 minutes at a time. Giraffes often make grunting, snorting and hissing sounds. And why do giraffes have long necks? This is a question that has puzzled scientists for hundreds of years. Antelope-like creatures roamed the vast grasslands of Africa 15 million years ago, distinguished by their very long necks. 10 million years after that, these animals evolved into a species that looks very much like the modern giraffe. The modern giraffe evolved into the form we see today about 1 million years ago. A giraffe's neck is certainly a striking feature. Interestingly, their necks have only seven vertebrae, just like humans. The most common explanation, inspired by Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection, suggests that among ancestral giraffes, a few had slightly longer necks than their peers. This gave them an advantage in reaching higher branches for more food. Gradually, these giraffes were more successful in reproducing because they had access to a richer food source. However, recent studies show a very different aspect. Scientists suggest that a long neck may have less to do with nutrition and more to do with mating. The latest and most surprising hypothesis is that the giraffe's neck is the result of sexual selection for competing for mates. Male giraffes fight for females by necking. Their skulls are extremely thick, allowing them to engage in such duels. Therefore, possessing a long, powerful neck provides an advantage. It has been found that not only do males with longer necks tend to win more often, but female giraffes also prefer to mate with longer-necked males. Proponents of this idea suggest that the giraffe's neck may have initially evolved for feeding purposes, but later shifted to the purpose of winning mates. However, the scientific community is still not entirely convinced by this theory. Therefore, this centuries-old puzzle still requires more in-depth research to find a conclusive answer.